I was in Paris a couple of weeks ago and I thought it would be fun to find someone who would allow me to help them declutter. So I found this lovely woman, Caroline, who allowed me into her beautiful Parisian apartment and we spent the afternoon clearing out some of her clutter and organizing her closet that she shares with her boyfriend. If you're new here, I make videos about decluttering and organizing, so click the like and subscribe button and let's get started. Good morning, I'm in Paris. I'm in Paris. I'm getting ready to leave my hotel room and head to Caroline's house. We're gonna declutter her closet this morning. I'm waiting for an Uber and I'm gonna head on over there. So come with me to um, my new friend Caroline's French Parisian apartment. And let's see what we can do today. This is my view. I mean, that looks so nice when you look up like that. It's so pretty. It's a rainy day here in Paris. Oh, my driver's on the way. Okay. Oh, 10 minutes. Wow. I'm going to learn so much. <laughs> so I'm here with my new friend, Caroline. Today's project, we're doing her closet. She's a French tutor here in Paris. Yes. And how long have you been doing that now? Now it's been almost seven years that I'm teaching French in, uh, in Paris and also online. I love the French accent so much. <laughs> and her apartment is gorgeous, stunning. It has like this view and little balcony. And today we're going to be working on her closet area. So you live here with your partner, with your boyfriend. Yes. And so you guys are sharing the closet space. Exactly. What bothers you about your closet? I think it's a bit messy and uh, there is too many things here, too many things here, <laughs> everywhere. So I want something clear, like when I wake up in the morning to see, okay, I'm gonna wear that, I'm gonna wear that. Because every day I forget things. I think I just put hair there, so I never know where. Yeah, where <laughs> I think that's so common. Like when we have too many things, it becomes overwhelming, even getting dressed in the morning. It's like you think having more options gives you more choice, but it actually makes you feel overwhelmed where you don't really know where to start. Yeah. So we're gonna take everything out. We're kind of gonna go in zones. We'll start with this left corner here, and we're gonna okay. use this uh, futon area as like the workspace. So we'll clear this part and then just one item at a time, we'll make a decision. We're going to use a few of these wonderful giant Ikea bags. We're gonna make it look very nice and neat and simplified. So are you ready? I'm Talk ready, I'm She's excited ready. about it. So oh good, let's okay. Go. <laughs> All right, here we go, we're gonna begin. First step, taking everything out. Tell my boyfriend so if he hides something maybe <laughs> all the secrets in the closet are going out today. <laughs> Yeah, can you take it out yeah, still? Yeah. Okay. I can do that. Perfect, okay. Okay. Okay, so all of that from just that one little zone. So this is mostly active wear, undergarments. There's yeah, some just combo. Yeah, my gym's uh, outfit. Mm -hmm. just, uh, Sweatpants, loungewear. Yeah, yeah and my uh, boyfriend's uh, soft things too. What we'll do is for the boyfriend stuff, we will just put, give him his own pile so we don't have to sort through any of his yeah. stuff. And then your stuff is the stuff that will one item at a time decide if you want to keep or give yeah. away. You know what I mean? Like separate my stuff and his stuff uh, 
Yeah, yeah when okay. we organize it, we'll have him have his own shelf. Donate. Um, should we start a bag for his stuff or a shelf for his stuff? The pants again, and the, the joggings. Okay, so that's mostly his. Would you say? Yeah, yeah, it's mostly it's only his. Yeah. For those of you who share a closet with a loved one, like Caroline does, we decided to separate her boyfriend's stuff and give him his own section. He can decide if he wants to declutter or let go of any of his clothing items. And today we're just focusing on her thing. So I know when you're living with someone else, it feels like you wanna just focus on their clutter, but if you focus on your own, you never know, you might inspire someone else to get on the same train as you and start to go through their things and see if they actually use the things they have, if they love the things they have, if they wanna keep them or if they're ready to let some of them go. Taking a quick lunch break, want to tell you about today's sponsor, Factor, absolute lifesaver. After being gone for the last three and a half weeks and eating on the road and eating out for every meal, my body is so ready for a reset and Factor is the easiest way for me to make that happen. I use their keto meal plan, so everything is portion controlled, it's all fresh, never frozen. It's like having a private chef, basically. It takes me two minutes, I don't have to grocery shop, I don't have to meal prep, I don't have to meal plan. Just having Factor in the fridge, lifesaver, game changer. I can get my lunch made in two minutes flat. I don't have to order expensive takeout. It's just ready to go for me. This is their Tuscan shrimp. It's one of my top three favorite dishes, but they have different meal plans. They have a vegan option, they have calorie smart. So whatever your food plan is that you're on or that you're trying to master, I'd say factor is a really great thing to have in your fridge so that you don't make bad choices when you're kind of down to the wire. I'm so happy that I have this pretty much ready to go. Fresh food, completely cooked by a chef, ready to be eaten by me. If you've been wanting to try Factor, now is the perfect time. They have a great deal for you guys. Head to go.factor75.com slash thecarlaproject60 and use code thecarlaproject60 to get 60% off your first box. That is a super sweet deal. Again, head to go.factor75.com slash thecarlaproject60 and use code the Carla Project 60 to get 60% off your first Factor box. Thanks Factor for the delicious meals and for sponsoring today's video. Back to it. Oh, my boyfriend's here. Oh, that is? Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, he has more like things on the... Who has more jackets, you or him? Uh, it's, man. it's him. He, oh, has, more he has more jackets? <sighs> yeah. Okay, so let's, let's do this rack as his jackets. Okay. And then we do yours. My, yeah, because yeah, this is a little smaller. Perfect. So let's start separating that. Because here it's more, it's more like a shirt. Okay, perfect. And yeah, we can. I can keep my jacket there. Okay. I'm never pushing anyone into minimalism. I'm just letting people review the items they have and decide what they're ready to let go of. And a lot of times this goes in waves. You're not ready to let go of everything all at once. Sometimes you have to go through several passes before you really get to a place where you can say, okay, this is, this feels good to me. So Caroline just went through this area and this area and what we decided to do was separate the hanging garments. Like these are all coats and jackets. This rack is now gonna be her boyfriend's rack and this area is her area. And so how do you feel about the different zones? I think that's good. No, it's better on that. We see if we if we separate his stuff and my stuff. Yeah, no, it's, it's so uh, much easier for you to access everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is already looking really good. And now we're gonna start putting back all of her loungewear. And we have a couple of these baskets. We didn't buy anything. She's just like found them throughout the apartment. <laughs> so we've got a few different baskets, and we're just gonna kind of organize it. And then we'll move on to this bottom section, and then we'll do like this upper area. Okay, okay. cool. Making progress. Big bad storm is rolling in hey. by the thunder and the wind ain't nothing ever gonna be the same. These April showers don't change a thing. Right for you for 20 long years. Damn you, Heather, you still ain't here. You ain't my mother anymore, and I don't feel sorry for you.
Every month, so oh, okay. Oh my gosh, but, um, that is so cute. Okay, this is a keep, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start a sweater pile. Keep or go? Go, yeah, go. This one, do you wear it? Keep, 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 and this one's go. Okay, here's where we're at. We've got this entire zone for her blazers, her jackets, um, some of her turtleneck sweaters. These are pants. So this whole zone is all hers. Now I'm gonna start a little denim bar for her. So we've got all of these jeans. I think they're gonna go here. We got rid of this drawer that was broken and switched it into this basket here. So we're gonna use that for her undergarment. This is all like sweaters. That's the hoodies, leggings, and we've got a few more that we gotta figure out how to fit into there. And then we've got a box of socks at the bottom. Oh, was it to vacuum seal? What's it for, to, um... Oh, for storage? Yeah, it's storage. Oh, but you need I a vacuum. I think it's the same number if you, like, I think it's a box like that. Huh? Need oh, this. yeah, it is. But it's the thing is, I box. don't have, um, no, I can keep it like that too. You want to use that to store your bedding? Yeah, Maybe these, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah? Perfect. Oh. Does it zip up? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, let's show that. So we just found these boxes that she's had. She's never opened them. For Look forever, at this. Have yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna use that to store her uh, loose bedding that's been hanging out down here. So that'll be really, really great to kind of free up that floor space and more, make it more organized. We got one comforter in here, one duvet cover, one fitted sheet, and then it has this little hook. to keep everything secure. Oops, Yeah. Oh, they look so much nicer. Yes. Yeah, yes. that looks good. Do we have another one of these? Yes. Okay. So, we have one more blanket and one more duvet. Let's see. No, just a pillow. <laughs> oh, it's a pillow. Okay. What's this? And that just blanket or? Wait, just a little. You know what? Bye bye. Bye bye. Yay. Okay, so we have another storage bin. Declutter pile. A blanket, jeans, old tops, t-shirts, socks, 
shoes, more pants and clothes. So we've got two bags worth. We got all of the stuff that was down here organized. This is her boyfriend's corner over here. This is now her corner over there. This is hers in the middle, and this is his on this side. Still gonna find homes for these few things that are currently homeless. And um, now we're gonna tackle this top area and probably behind the door there as well. kind of like tote bags mm -hmm. okay and then this is your travel bag so let's put that in there i don't know what else we what else you want to put in there really uh i have all the bags there you have a lot of bags you want to bring them let's do that's great let's organize all your bags it's really easy to get overwhelmed when you are coming in contact with items that you haven't touched or seen in months sometimes years and it's okay to feel overwhelmed just always remember you go back to picking up one item at a time, one thing and making a decision. Am I going to keep this or am I going to give it away? Let's do this box here. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Curtain, maybe we need. Okay, you want to switch out the okay. other one? Yeah. That's I want to keep it because it was a, a gift from a friend in Toronto. Perfect for the time was coming. Oh yeah, winter. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't need, I don't okay. wear anymore. Donate. I don't wear anymore. Donate. That's a flip-flop. That's a flip-flop. That I don't wear anymore. Donate. So, Donate. I was looking for those keep. summer so yeah. I keep. I don't, I won't wear, of course. There's just some fabric, so we put with the others. Mm -hmm. I can donate. We can put on the tote tot, tot bag. It's empty. All right. Do you want to get rid of that box since it's broken? I don't know if you're gonna use it really because it's broken. Okay. Yeah. You don't need it. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. This is a keep, right? Yes. She's doing a really great job. We're getting piles and piles of things <laughs> to declutter. Now we're going through this box of randomness. Is this like mementos, storage, yeah. misled pa papers? It's what uh, do you think? Is this like mostly going to be keep or? It's my old agenda. You know, oh, old old so diaries. I want to keep that. Yeah. Well, you uh, can keep them in there if that's like your yeah. sort of like storage box for that stuff. Yeah, if I can keep one box. Yeah, for, for that miscellaneous. Like that, yeah. Right. Oh, how old? I don't know. Like but number one? It was it number three or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're so little. <laughs> so little. That's so, and so cool. heavy. And I can't even add more stuff yeah. from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, winter hats. Ski hats. Okay. So let's put that.
hours now. It's 2.30 and closet's organized. Let me show you what we've decluttered. <laughs> okay, trash. This is all bags, boxes that we're hiding in nooks and crannies. This one she can still use for storage. This is a donate, um, another donate bag, another donate bag. These bags are full too. We've got shoes, handbags, like miscellaneous stuff, another bag, and another bag. One, two, three, four, five donate bags. And then this pile of trash, when her boyfriend comes home, he's gonna help, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna help carry all sure. this down. Yeah, help yeah, with yeah. all the heavy lifting. Okay, so now let's show you the closet. How do you feel? Much better. Like now we separate things. Yeah. Mine, his. Yeah. So that's the first thing that I really wanted. And yeah, like now, I mean, like it's just more organized than yeah. I can see. And I know where things are. So it's a good feeling. I'm happy. Of yes. That. Now you have a lot of different zones. So we did her bedding, her blankets, all of that. We found these bins, which were perfect for storage. So that was the stuff that was just down here loose. Now we have it all corralled into this. And then this is all her side. So we did her t-shirts, her sports bras, all of her stuff for CrossFit. And then we did hoodies over here, leggings, undergarments. She has a little denim bar here. And then these are all sweaters at the very bottom, socks and uh, these are like scarves and beanies and winter hats, things like that. Now this bag is full of her boyfriend's stuff, so we didn't really declutter anything for him. He'll sort through this when he comes home. Okay. These are all of her coats. He has his coat rack over there. And then up here, these are all of her tote bags. Um, this is also like workout, yoga mat, exercise stuff. She's got her scarves up there. He has his hats. And then all of this side is his. Four hours of work, we finished this whole area. And I think she's been bitten with the decluttering bug because <laughs> she's probably gonna wanna do more. Cause at the end you're like, oh my gosh, I have so much stuff. I can't believe it. So much stuff. Sorry, we've got all those bags to get rid of. So, <laughs> all right, thanks. Leave Thank a comment, you. let us know what you think. <laughs> Au revoir. Bye bye. Leave. <laughs> and Caroline has got me, what a great French hostess. She got me. Chocolat with a little ribbon. <laughs> Everything is cuter in France, I'm telling you. And then I have this mug. I will cherish this, you have no idea. I only have one mug at home, so. Okay. <laughs> I need this. Awesome. <laughs>